Chris and Danielle. We're out here working on the boat, and I'm gonna show you how to take out the ballast boat. And yes, I'm sweating. I, I started on it, and then I said, hey, somebody else might wanna know how to do this. But she's out here working on the cosmetics. Scraping, she just scraped all the pin scraping off the, the boat. That was pretty rough. And now she's cleaning up uh, um, caulking because we're gonna like we're gonna restore it. So with um, what is it oxidization restore? Oxidization and restore, and then we're gonna coat. and so we want all this. But we'll get that on video. Let's get into and how to do the ballast pump. at the top side of the engine yes I have this engine apart where it got stuck valve but you go down here and the ballast pump is right down there you'll see I started taking out the uh, screw but there's a uh, the ballast pump and the float is right next to it I'm gonna take both of these out because when I plugged in the battery and had water in the hole this thing started smoking so probably not a good sign. We've taken the bolt out on that side. Now I have the exhaust manifold and everything cleared out here, exhaust intake manifold. So it's pretty easy to get to. If it wasn't, if it was here, I don't think I could get to this side. But so far I've only seen one bolt holding this in on this side, or one screw. So we're gonna take this out and then hopefully we can clean this up and make it work again. If not, We'll just replace it. Okay guys, we got the ballast pump out and uh, here it is. So I got that and got the float out. To take the ballast pump out of the housing, you just, there's a little clip right here. You just pull that clip up and twist it and it comes out. This ballast pump is not working. So I'm gonna have to replace it. I'm gonna just un unclip the wires and pull this thing all the way out but it's easiest to get to in a bay liner if you take the exhaust manifold intake off the boat or otherwise i wouldn't have got that third mystery screw down there there's three screw screws holding in the uh the ballast pump and there are two screws holding in the float Mine only had one, so I'm guessing that the previous owners had replaced it and didn't bother with that second screw. If you like this channel, please subscribe. If you like this video, hit that like button. It's down there, looks like this. And if you're looking forward to Danny decorating and making them both beautiful, just stay tuned. Y'all please take care. Thank you.